December the 19th, 2020. Because we're watching a lot of things, and uh, most of you are watching the same things that I am. There's a lot at stake. But I want to point out something uh, in the night sky. It's interesting if you like comets and this type of information. But we have Comet C2020S3 that's uh, just coming into the picture on our solo Lasco C3 satellite. It watches the sun gives us an earth-facing perspective and the earth is in the blue there venus is to the right mercury is just under the sun and comet c2020 s3 is moving up into the right uh, they're calling it erasmus and uh, unusual name but that's what it is so tonight the sun's going to be on the opposite side of the planet so the sun's rising in the east so tonight turn to the east with your binoculars and there's a good chance you'll see this event happening. It's pretty cool. We're going to watch it on the satellite images again. But this uh, particular comet is not one that orbits out to Jupiter, Saturn, and comes back in. It, much further out, like some of the great comets that we've seen that you don't see that much. One with an orbit like that, guys, more than likely you'll never see it again in our lifetime. But again, uh, interesting software. This is what we're looking at now in the east. The comet is not visible because the sun's there. Mercury is under the sun. We're going to look at it again on satellite images. In the direction of co the comet is up with the red arrow, the tail is blowing back because of the solar winds. Uh, if, you, if we ever get the close images of some of these comets, you'll see actually one or two, sometimes three tails. you got your main debris ta tail, then you have the ion tail that indicates the direction of the solar wind speed. So it always points forward towards the uh, sun itself so you can trace it that way but here's mercury notice the coronal mass ejection our universe is electric there comes erasmus up notice your time stamp today's date going back to the 15th we'll watch it through again the um, electrical discharge between a comet that's going that far out into space and the time it takes it builds up like static like when you slide across simply slide across a carpet and touch something metallic and you get that arc that's what i'm talking about but on a nuclear scale and that's what we saw this coronal mass ejection comes in it welcomes comet erasmus into the inner solar system it's amazing to watch this again that's uh, from the 15th up until today now, guys, I want to say this. Um, there's important things that are going on um, in the nation's capital. And there's moves that are being made now that may be some major steps and some eye-opening things. Um, you have a, one article over on Gateway Pundit that I think is important. You maybe you want to check that out. But it may be leading right up to uh, major changes. But guys, we're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.